have spoken before me. And uh, so I feel very humble uh, to be following after that. As you heard, I was appointed ambassador to the IUCN um, Blind Pledge campaign to support the Bon Challenge target to restore 150 million hectares of degraded and deforested land by 2020. This is the largest restoration initiative the world has ever seen. On the 12th of June 2012, I launched Plant Place in London in the UK. The Bonn Challenge target was set last year in Bonn, Germany, by the representatives of governments and the private sector, as well as indigenous and non-governmental organizations. The Global Partnership on Forest Land Restra Landscape Restoration GPFLR has mapped 2 billion hectares of deforested and degraded land across the globe, an area the size of South America with the potential for restoration. Just imagine how large is the area of the forested land that we have today in the world. And for those who may think that 150 million hectares is a lot, and it will be difficult to achieve by 2020. Just think about how much more we should be doing, really, if we want to avert catastrophic climate change. And if you feel, like some do, that we are not getting everything we hoped from the Rio summit, let me tell you, as somebody said before, that this is not a side event. This is one of the important events that are taking place right here in Brazil and in Rio de Janeiro. And because if we see or we feel that the leaders of some of the most important countries are not really paying as much attention to climate change and to the future of the planet as they should. I would say to you that not all the news is bad. On the 18th of June, the GPFLR and IUCN and myself held a press conference with, where we announced a landmark restoration commitment, totaling 18 million hectares. The United States Department of Agriculture Forest Service pledged 15 million hectares, the government of Rwanda, 2 million hectares, and the Mata Atlantica Forest <coughs> Restoration Pact of Brazil, a coalition of government agencies, NGOs, and private sector partners, 1 million hectares. We also welcome the commitment to the Bond Challenge of the Mesoamerican Alliance of Peoples and Forests, a forum of indigenous peoples and forest communities who together have legal rights for over more than 50 million hectares of territorial forests in Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama. And we're looking forward to receiving their specific pledges of hectares. It is very encouraging that countries and landowners are making complete pledges to restore degraded and deforested land by 2020. In great contrast to the lack of leadership that may have been shown at the Rio Plus 20 negotiation, the pledges of more than 18 million hectares take us over 10% closer to achieving the bond challenge target of 150 million hectares. In the lead up to the uh, Rio Plus summit, I was thinking about somebody else mentioned there is a few of us who were here 20 years ago for the Rio Summit, including my dear friend, uh, and uh, I think uh, Ashok Koshla. In fact, we met 20 years ago at the Rio Summit. And I don't know, I think it's the minister from Norway who mentioned that he was here, and I'm sure that many more people were here. And at that time, I was calling for a new model of development a model of development that, that includes respect for human rights, 
social and economic justice, and respect for the rights of indigenous people. I also call for companies and corporations to be accountable before the law. Well, perhaps we're still calling for some of the same things. It is encouraging to see that some companies are now willing and are not only willing, but are determined to be part of the change that we need to avoid catastrophic climate change. Airbus is supporting the Plant of Place campaign. And I welcome all the other companies that are doing something more than just greenwashing. That is important. It is something that we need. And I do hope that many, many more companies throughout the world will do what is necessary to avoid climate change. And just to end, because I know that Jeff is getting nervous, and I can see him, <laughs> uh, I would want to tell you what you need to do to support us. The Plant a Pledge campaign has a website. It is www.plantapledge.com. Please go there and click and help us <coughs> to pressure on leaders throughout the world so that we can really accomplish and meet the target that we have to get by 2020 of 150 million hectares. And perhaps, with all of your help, we will be able to do more. And in the meantime, I would like you to follow me on Twitter. I am at Bianca Jagger. It is a pleasure to be with you. Thank you very much.